uh, hopefully I made this documentary. Shout out to uh, Trav Geek. You guys know I'm, I'm associated with uh, Young and Ace, so, uh, and fully a situation. So hopefully, let's see if I'm in here. This is be my room right here. One boy shot my house up. I was right there on the bed, me and my little brother Quan Quan. They shot my house up from right here. This is my mama's shit right here. They shot my mama's house up. They shot this part right here. My mama was in the room. They shot that bitch up. My whole, my house always got shot up. They always spent on my shit. But we doubling back though, for real. Come here though. The ATK gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. This top killers is one. Nine people you know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of, and, and who knows what else. The day we're shooting scenes. Hold on, Snaggy hit me up, hold on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all, yeah. I'm streaming what's good. You stream like for real. I muted it. It's unmuted. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, All right. But uh, what's it called, bro? You look very handsome today. I do. How you gonna like? How you gonna let Zs talk to me like that, bro? What can I say? If I were to defend you right there, he would hurt me. Now, Schnaggy, don't tell anyone this. I know my stream is unmuted, but chat. When when Schnaggy and all the SV boys were in Miami, we're gonna fucking beat Zs up. I don't go fuck Schnaggy. Hey Schnaggy. Hey Schnaggy. Hey Schnaggy. We're gonna beat his ass. Hey, we're gonna beat his ass, Schnaggy. No cap. Help too. You better get some punches in, nigga. Oh, I am. Oh, Schnaggy, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna that bite. Nigga, that nigga bullies him. He hits Schnaggy, I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite his fucking balls, bro. Like genuinely, like bite them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab his ball so I can twist it. You are. Twitch him. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Rico, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Right. It's muted. It's muted. It's muted. Bro, I haven't been able. I haven't. I haven't been able to walk for two days, bro. My asshole hurts. Really? Yeah, you fucked me too hard. I know. I'm sorry, babe. This 16-year-old pussy is hurting. Why is it not I love you. Bro? I love you. Bro. Oh my God, bro. For um, when I see you, who I smoke? Uh huh. Who I Smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? Oh, how I took it too far when they made a song for us speaking. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Hi, right, what is up everybody? For the past few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Who I Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years, and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs. Hey, I gotta say one thing, chat. You guys can't lie, Trap Geek always comes crazy with these videos, bro. They always go crazy. Um, Pre-L friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cuff him. 
Now you know when to tell somebody they're live, you stupid fuck. Songs ...and trying to rap the most demonic sh shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it. Filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing hey, to the video and celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month, and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Please don't smoke. Say it. No! <laughs> hey, Fulio, come get this nigga before you play with your top. This is one of the most savage videos I've I've seen. Just, you know why? They ain't show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have like enjoy. Oh fuck, bro. Bro, how do I remove chance, bro? I hate when you guys do chance in my shit, bro. Hey, Ak. Yo, Ak, say what's good to my stream, bro. Yo, what's good, stream? Yo, Ak. What up? What I you know what you gonna say. <laughs> what? Nah. Every time I hear, every time you say Ak, it feels like you gotta ask the fuck or something like that, man. Ak, I have some cheeseburgers for you. Uh, wait, wait, what type though? Just, you know, extra double-double cheeseburgers. Your favorite. That, what brand, though? Man? I got six cheeseburgers for you. If they're from In-N-Out, we can fuck with it. In-N-Out, of course. Only In-N-Out. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, cool. I'm going to come pick them up. Uh, who are you with right now? I'm with uh, uh, six Nine's, like crew. Six Nine's crew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to uh, change. We going to the club, low-key. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, okay. Well, I just want to check in. Um... Yeah. yeah wait, 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 it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, Ak, I'll fuck you later, okay? Mwah. Yo, if you don't get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ak, baby, fuck me. Chat, how big do you guys think Ak's dick is? It's probably, like, very small and fat. All right. In life? What, clown of the niggas who die? So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, remixing a classic Fantasia song, and in the music right, video, so printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew so just this, even song send me shit. this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. I cannot, they found his poems. He was right. Where is Corbin? Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview. Uh, chat. Uh, Selena Powell, speaking of Selena Powell, she DM'd me. She said, I'd like to come on your stream. Uh, do you guys want Selena to come on stream? All right, I'm gonna DM her and say fuck it. I'll show you guys proof. A lot of you guys think I lie about shit. Yeah, I literally see someone just say cap. So, uh, as you guys can see right there, Selena Powell. Can I come on your stream? I'm gonna say yeah. Mike! Mike! Are you okay? For real? Okay.
Um, all right. I'm seeing a lot of yeses for Selena Powell. I, I just damn near saying yes. I got you guys. And they never saw him again. Left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Fucking Christ. Oh my goodness, bro. I did not mean to even nod, bro. Fuck. Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Here, then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. But what makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up on opposite ends of the feud. Yeah, now, now, it is your cousin. Nigga, fuck your cousin, man. It's your real cousin? That nigga cousin, I don't give a fuck. That nigga cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first I got my guy Millie's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. This is Heightened Sense. The government keeps the hover list. Aye. In order to understand this story, we gotta go to the biggest city in the country in terms of land size. Chicago. It's not in Alaska, and that's Jacksonville, Florida. Florida's always had a huge presence in rap music, especially in the last two decades. But its biggest city, Jacksonville, never really got any mainstream success until now. And that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews. Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival Fulio is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups. Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef is the amount of mutual friends both camps had at one point in time. Ace and Fulio were never exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother, Bibby. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking photos like it was a trophy. He even released an album in 2019, putting images of his dead ops as the cover, like a Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville Police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. So what? folks online came up with the catchphrase, JSO loves Queso, for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media. You see how I'm glad it Come in, boy! Come in, boy! All of Queso's songs have millions of views on YouTube. YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together, Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass! <laughs> Damn, wait, so chat, Quando, Quando and, um, Quando and Von were friends at a time? Like, how good of friends? Chat, shut the fuck up. I'm not actually gonna get her on my stream. Could you guys shut up, bro? Like, I'm literally not getting her on stream. On all my all my entire life, I'm not, bro. It's a troll. Just fuck with you guys. Not friends, but they were mutual. Okay. Why the fuck would I get her on my Twitch stream? After what she said to me on No Jumper. I'm just entertaining it, bro. I saw the poll. Like, could you guys shut the fuck up? Thank God, obviously, bro. On, on my entire mother and father's soul. I was never going to get on my Twitch stream. I just put that on everything I love, bro. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Obviously, bro. Like, what the fuck? It would be funny? No, bro. I, on God. Ever since that no jumper shit, why would I do that, bro? Anybody who disrespects me, bro, in any sort of way, they're never going to get on my stream again. And that's just, or, just, in, 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 like, I'm never, bro. Never. Like, on God, no. Queso was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well-known reputation. Hey, chat, where you guys all from, characters. by the way? Uh, he um, what's it called? I, uh, well, I got a lie. No, no, no. Ever since, you know, the whole thing with, um, by the way, I'm from, I'm from Florida as well, chat. Ever since the whole thing with, you know, um, Blueface's artist, I'm just, yeah. Famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins who repped the rival gang, KTA. What's up? Where you at? Come on, I do a uh, team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll two words us too. Look at my cousin. They, we look alike. My cousin don't want to talk. He's trying to end <laughs> Wait, are they being for real? Why are they smiling? Wait, are they being dead ass?
<laughs> He's trying to act all hard. Oh, Jason. They got Jason. the black hoodies on. One of the cousins on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car, sending him crashing into a rental wheel tire shop, where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the scene. While folks at the tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Them fuck niggas play. Play. Fuck niggas play. You fuck niggas play, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own, laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! And Queso, what the fuck am I watching, bro? Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all niggas play. Y'all niggas play. 60 days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. See, the crazy part is, everybody that's beefing at one point in time was cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth grade, they've been friends ever since, but the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them, and even- Oh shit. This is the craziest one I think we've ever watched yet. had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated, but a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the sand. Neutrals had to pick sides quickly. At a block party in South Chad. This is crazy as fuck, bro. Jacksonville, it's in YNR territory, young and reckless. A crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant, Slugger T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant, Slugger T, shooting back. But Ace and his crew managed to escape the party, leaving young and reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, YNR's leader, Mookie, was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up, creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go To War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission. Why do you guys spam robbery. Aiden after every single... He looks nothing like me, bro. YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin. Where to go back, Chad? He literally looks nothing like me, bro. Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go To War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was on the west side of Jacksonville at Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door, entering from the back where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Damn, Zion's bro. death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, Holy fuck! And Young and Ace's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin being the first death in the beef meant KTA were looking to get revenge swiftly. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song, F That, was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. Then a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. Hold on, chat. Hold on. This is this is fucking crazy. Give me one second, chat. 
please. Bro, I'm, bro, chat, fucking, what's it called, bro, um, why are you guys saying, oh, boyfriend, why, I'm literally, t I was talking to, I'm literally talking to fucking Pammy in there, why are you guys saying, oh, boyfriend, y'all are fucking weird as fuck, bro, she's literally showering in there right now, I just went to go say hi to her, oh, boyfriend, alright, bro, I'm ending my stream, I'm actually in my stream. You guys are fucking weird as fuck. I'm gonna go shower my girl and go to sleep. I don't know why you guys are so fucking weird, but I'm just kidding. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullard, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting. It's a Tuesday in June of 2018. Ace, his brother, and two friends were going to Wasabi, a Japanese steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photos outside the steakhouse. Damn. Ace even recorded his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat, then followed them leaving the restaurant, driving along the highway. Wait, Chad, do you guys think that these rappers, um... Chad, do you guys think that these these rappers like stay like in the uh, in the same hood? I seen that one. That story of Kate, yeah, that shit's crazy. Anyway, when they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car, killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did. Except he thought Ace was dead. <laughs> the boy lost the Fortnite match. <laughs> Took over the cold summer alert, man. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, bitch. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything. His brother and his two best friends. The attention, however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak, has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think their primary goal is to entertain, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, Fulio's little brother Bibby was the next target for assassination. Bibby was just 16 at the time, and he was coming home from school one day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville what? at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibby and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of 60 rounds were shot in under 15 seconds. Bibby was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibby's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex. What is this beef even, chat? What is this beef even fucking like? How does it start? Is it because like they're from different like neighborhoods? Like, I don't understand. How does it even start though? Because there was a picture of them all being cool in 2015, he just said. Parking waiting 
until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's direction. Then Queso allegedly walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray knee. This is all false. The court documents also mention Queso's affinity for wearing Bibi jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Wow. Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio, losing his brother and his cousin in a short period of time was devastating. But 2019 was also the year his music was going to the next level. A million views back to back to back consistently. And he was doing it all independent. Fulio was a big deal in Florida, but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own. Unlike his rival Young and Ace, who was booking shows in multiple states. Just a month after Fulio's brother died, Ace was performing at a nightclub in Waycross, Georgia. Him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool when they were suddenly ambushed. An SUV pulled up and a group of guys hopped out shooting. Queso was there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in- Wait, 60K? Nah, I'm, I'm at 59. I think the subs went down, chat. I'm at uh, 59,330 again. Fuck. If I hit 60,000 subs, I'll do a, a hot tub stream. If you guys are new to my stream, please hit that follow button. It's literally free. Just tap the screen at the follow button. Uh, here it says the subs right here, 59.3K. If you guys got Amazon Prime, thank you so much, Dex Mojo with the Twitch Prime, ST. Anyone subbing up? Appreciate you guys so fucking much, bro. Right at 60K. Appreciate everyone subbing up and following. In that shootout, only Ace's side got arrested. This for is crazy, back. bro. The other gunmen were never found by police. Queso would say the quiet part out loud in his song Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should have killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music no video we his cousin bro. Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory after the fact. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck. Damn, so his dad, bro, so this is this guy's dad, bro, and he's in jail for the same shit he's in jail for. They're both in jail for murder cases, so that's fucking crazy. He was born into this shit, bro. This is all crazy as fuck to me, bro. See, I'm not about this life at all, bro. On God, I'm not. Um, this is fucking crazy. To the fact. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck, who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off, and put 100 bullets inside the car. Lil Buck was Fulio's close friend and a high-priced target that ATK got oh, the drop yeah, on, allegedly rolling up at 11 in the morning while he was applying for a job to assassinate him. Queso posted to his Insta story right after, saying, I kill a dude, then get my toes done. Receiving a pedicure with the caption, kill a N-word, then go get my toes done. This <laughs> wasn't the way the reporter said that, but bro, what the fuck? Chat, my bad. One more, one more thing. I just got to really go check. I got to go say one more thing to my girl. She's not feeling too well. It's like, one second. This is fucking crazy. Hey. Go in, go in. Bro, I can't, bro. You guys want me to literally end stream and go in? You guys are so weird.
if he doesn't get in, he's gay on God. Like, bro, okay, do a poll right now if I should, if I should get in. Pause your stream to get in. No, I really want to get in, but, like, I, I, I can't. All right, like, who finished this video? Wasn't the first hit done outside a job site. Another rapper, Jump Out, who beefed with Young and Ace and ATK, was killed while we- Wait, you said pause stream and just go hop in. Damn, you guys really want me to go get in. You stink. You can't smell me, though. Go on IG Live. Play a video and go in. <laughs> Waiting in Bruh. line to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leading to the infamous line on who I smoke, where they say, found out where he was working Jesus and clocked him Christ, out. Bro. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter who it was, one side was shooting at the other, and the other would shoot back. We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who are locked up, and YNR Mookie, and Slugga T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all ain't underscored this yet, boy. And to this day, this Young and Ace crazy, still has bro. a bullet casing in his butt from the quadruple shooting outside the Wasabi Steakhouse. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.